Thanks. Excellent. Go, go. I'm glad to be here. I'm from Orange Cyber Defense. And Sunday in a train, I was uh, looking for a lightning talk for a topic. And I remember that I asked a colleague to reverse uh, a presumed crack of Cobalt Strike uh, that uh, made the news uh, last week. And uh, so it started like that. So there's been always cracks, always leaks about uh, uh, Cobalt Strikes. You know it. Um, pretty much every every single version that uh, Fortra, the vendor behind Cobalt Strike, is releasing are cracked. Um, for the previous version, it was uh, after February 28. It was a month later in April uh, on Chinese forums. Um, the version before also. The funny uh, version 4.5 has this Cobalt Strike Cat uh, fork, and it's available on GitHub, and it's used by Chinese threat actors, uh, including against Taiwan. So it's, uh, it's, we all know they are used, but this latest one, it was fun to check. So it was released on September and uh, September the 19th. Um, it's a major version. So I read some changes. And a few days later, again, it happens on, on, on a forum that uh, someone's proposing a crack. And then uh, on the Poner's Telegram, famous crack uh, group of uh, kitties, um, they, they proposed the, the file, actually, and uh, it made the news in, on various telegrams and on Twitter, etc. And so uh, we thought that uh, Fortware was releasing a note of band a patch for it, but actually not at all. It's not related at all to the to the alleged leak. So we started reversing it last week. Um, not me. I'm not a reverser. Um, but the the crack is 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 working between brackets because there is no authorization file, and it's not compatible with previous ones that were, were leaked or cracked, etc. And our point was was it is it backdoored? Well, we still don't know. We believe maybe not, but it's a huge uh, number of megabytes to reverse right now, so we're still diffing it. Um, and actually, we don't care in the end if it's backdoored or not. It's not fully working right now. So we first started uh, testing it on our uh, internal uh, virus total like stuff, but of course you have to look deeper. So that's when uh, Frederick, my colleague, uh, had a look, and they were patching um, during the loading of the uh, they instrumenting it, and the uh, classes are replaced by uhook.jar instead of the real Cobalt, jar, cobalt Strike jar. Um, they reuse a prior crack they have been uh, uh, using, and they replace their RSA uh, key, of course, so the, the, the application launches correctly. We all know how to detect uh, passively Cobalt. There is quite a lot of patterns. Uh, you may use Charm Fingerprint, there is recently these JA4 fingerprints that you can use. And uh, here in this case, what's fun is that uh, kitties that will use it like that without changing and using their own certificate, well, they will get caught because uh, the certificate itself uh, mentioned as a common name, uh, Pawner Striked. And so you would say, okay, no one will be that stupid. And well, they are. Uh, already on census, you can find a few servers that uh, use this leak, lose this crack, cracked uh, uh, cobalt. And uh, so, uh, actually, on census and on the other passive sensors, you now have really dedicated capabilities to um, to find out the new uh, cobalt servers pretty pretty early. So that's pretty much it. Thank you, and thanks to uh, the reverser that worked on it. Uh, on my uh, on my side, um, what was less fun yesterday when I checked uh, Pawn Stride on Google was that I figured out that someone yesterday or Sunday wrote an article about it about this lightning talk. So it's uh, it happens, but uh, they do mentions exactly that this certificate. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you.